Hey, what's happening, Stinky Heads? How you doing? How you been? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? Hey, before we get this video started, you already know, go on and smash that thumbs up. You know what we're trying to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in today's video, Stinky Heads, we got another unboxing. Check out these dead bugs right here. I am sorry for the delay, Stinky Heads, but I do work and sometimes it's just hard to find time to make these videos and do our best. So here we have another Hey, I'm a Meneer while you're sleeping. And so today we're going to be going over four things you may not have known about these Hey, I'm a Meneers. One thing I did find out about this box is you can prop it open just like that here to make it like a more display piece. You know, inside of that Hey, I'm a Meneer on the inside. You see these are all A's dust cover that we've seen before let's take these bad boys out we're talking about what bam these are the jordan 4 while you're sleeping aka phantoms let me go ahead and pull the other shoe out <clears throat> again these do come with the extra set of laces Right here, you see the white pair in hand. Also, looks like my tag tore off the A of a Meneer tag. Those come with that as well. Let's set these aside so we can take a look at more of the shoe. We already reviewed the box before, so you won't be going into detail on that. Check out these bad boys in hand right here. A of a Meneer. So, first look in hand. As you know, these did cost an extra $25. Does come with that high retail price of $225. I don't mind paying the high retail price if I'm gonna get quality, such as this, that the eight Ama Meneers are known for. Um, I believe that when it comes to quality, a Ama Meneer is one of the brands that are doing their quality the best. I'm looking over my pair, I really don't see any flaws on this pair. Um, I think overall this pair came out to be looking pretty well to me, my humble opinion. Again, start off, I got the basic shoe right here. Those feature that photon and these were sitting. I guess this could be like a hard color to rock, but what I found best what I've seen so far that people put their fits together is to just rock these with the black pants or some, maybe some black shorts to pull the pull this look off and maybe you can get maybe like a plum shirt to match or maybe if you want to go uh, all black and let the shoes pop out or you may want to find a tone that's in the uh, colorway of the shoe. We did know that A. Hey, I'm a Meneer did release their own shirts with this release so if you wanted something to matchy matchy you could have found something on the a i'm a Meneer website they still have shirts available as well as i know that jordan brand has their own collabs with a i'm a Meneer, which are a little bit cheaper around 75 dollars. i wouldn't mind picking up one of those for 75 but uh, 175 is just a little bit too steep in my opinion but maybe if i can find a used one at thrift store or something maybe i might pick one up so overall, this shoe is a very fire in hand. If you haven't seen these in person, definitely recommend you checking these out at your local resale shops. But again, this features nice plum tan. I don't know what you want to call this, but it kind of looks like plum, like a light purplish, but then it also looks tan too. So let me know down in the comments what the official color looks like to you, but kind of looks like a mixture in between the two different colors uh, in my opinion looking at these in hand the leather on the toe box feels very very soft in my opinion um, i do like the way they feel in hand and this rugged rugged suede which is i think the heaviest suede that i've seen thus far this is a good look at it right here the camera is picking this up very well in my opinion you do have that cell midsole throughout the bottom it does have that air unit that we're all accustomed to that 
polyurethane air unit, which we all love to make the shoe soft. Uh, one of the hidden features about this shoe, it does behind the netting, you'll see those A's for A, I'm a Meneer, behind the netting, as well as on the side panels, we do see again those A's on the side. So that is one of the hidden features of this shoe. Again, it does feature that Nike Air branding on the back because this is a collaboration which Jordan Brand allowed a Ama Manure to put the Nike Air at the back of the shoe. And as you know, every time we have Nike Air on the back of the shoe, we do have that Nike Air branding on the bottom. And this is a very clean, nice outsole in my opinion. Those feature those purple pods at the heel and the toe box. Does have that nice sail sew at the middle portion of the shoe. And again, what really makes this shoe stand out is that Nike and Plum color. It really makes the shoe pop. As well as I love the way they did to follow up that black around the back. The black back on the Nike Air branding because it does make the shoe pop as well. Looking at the front of the shoe, you do see the standard laces. Another hidden fact about these laces that you may or may not know is they do say work harder. It's so right there on one it says work, on this other one it says harder. This is the third hidden messaging that the shoe does have. Again, like most the standards, Air Jordan branding is on the back and they kind of mixed it up here. We do see that Air Jordan right there on the back of the tongue. Again, another hitting factor is those A's on back of the shoe of the tongue, which I think is a nice touch in that burgundy. So one thing I did notice on this patch right here does have the A for A, I'm a Meneer with that flight logo. The inside is, does say Air Jordan, as we can see. And then they kind of switch it up on the other side because on the, where this one has the Jordan patch right here on the flight logo at the bottom, they did go with the uh, A.M. Manier on the inside. So again, this is another hidden touch right here that we've seen. And looking at the insole of that sock liner, we do see that quilted sock liner that we all love. And these will make this shoe very soft once you put your foot in there. Again, these shoes do come with another extra set of laces that sell, which I so far, I think, from what I've seen, I think either the cell laces look best or probably black to bring the black up right here from the midsole. I do think, do think that's a nice touch. Tag fell off. I do see that Nike Air hang tag in that plum colorway. Again, I do think that's a nice touch right here. We look at the, taking out the sole, the insole of the shoe. We do see again that a I'm a Meneer branding, and this is one of the better insoles in my opinion. Do have that nice polyurethane insole, so this will make the shoe more comfortable. Another hidden fact, which you should know by now, it does have that while you were sleeping message in the bottom of the shoe, which I do think is a nice touch. Again, on the last shoe they drove for, they put a hidden message behind. This tag right here, so they kind of switched it up and put it at the bottom of the shoe and the inside. So I'm looking at this shoe right here. Again, it does feature again the same insole right here. And this does say on this shoe over here that says while you're sleeping as well. So this may be one of the ways you can tell a real from a fake, but I'm pretty sure by now the People that are making these fakes know this as well, but this may be one of the gift dead giveaways. Again, you want to check your lettering to make sure all the letterings is correctly, you know, spelled out in spaces. It does seem like it's a nice thin cursive writing. So if you have, if you can't read the writing or maybe that your cursive writing is too thick, that may be one of the telltale signs that your shoe is a fake. But let me know now in the comments, sneak ahead, are you seeing any fakes of these? Now, these should have been really easy to get because again these were sitting i uh, did win my shoe directly from a i'm a Manier website so i was excited about that 
Again, we're not guaranteed to win anything on the sneakers app, so that's why I always go for the raffles first, and then Nike sneaker app will be my last resort. This overall, to me, this is a nice shoe in my humble opinion. It, this shoe does feature that deconstructed um, collar like the Jordan 3s are. Hey, I'm a Meniere's where it has that thin deconstruction around the ankle. Which I do think that's something different that they did to give it their own little touch. But again, this nice quilted liner on the inside does feel plush to the touch. It looks like it has a lot of padding. Um, I can't wait to try these on feet and see how they feel. Hopefully it won't have that pinky toe, you know, issues. They know most men will be rocking these, so hopefully they made these a little bit wider uh, than normal. But only time will tell until I put these on. Smelling like new money. Can't be beat. So let me know down your thoughts in the comments, sneakerheads. Are you rocking with these eight? I'm a Manier Jordan 4s. So are you dropping these? Again, we appreciate y'all. And be look out for the next unboxing. Hey, and if you guys continue to love content like this, hey, check out that video right there. Like we say for sure, when you're blessed. Hey, bless others. Peace. Peace.